So today we're going to be looking at Open Code, which is an open source free AI coding agent. And it comes with free models and you can connect pretty much any provider. Now, this is considered like a really good alternative to Claude Code. You can see it's got over 50,000 GitHub stars, 500 contributors, and a lot of people are using this tool right now. There's a lot of hype about it, right? So if you want to get access to this, you can download it for free. Just click on the download for free section at opencode.ai. And then once you've done that, you actually see a example that looks like this. We can actually update this. So if we check for updates, we can grab the latest updates, select this all those. Now it's going to reopen and you can go in the bottom left hand side here and then switch between which provider you want to connect. And pretty much any provider you can connect with here, as you can see, you can also select between the most popular, so open code, anthropic, GitHub, etc. And then if you go to, for example, like a new session, you can test and see, okay, what, what have we got going on here? Now, if you want to see like what people are building with this stuff, I would recommend going over to X. So you can go into X and then type in open code, for example. And you can see like some people are begging their friends like Justin to use open code instead of Claude code. One of the biggest reasons for this is it's free. So you can use it for free and you can use GLM 4.7. GLM 4.7 is a good alternative to Claude code. So it's a free way to code in a local IDE as well. And it's one of those powerful ways you can use it. So let's get straight into this. If we go over to open code now, let's test this out. So we can switch between build and plan, and then we can select, okay, what do we want to use, etc. Open project, we can just create a new folder to start testing this out, right? So let's put a test down here, create, open, and set up a new folder. So if you wanted to build a website, for example, you can use Claude Opus if you want. That's not a free one. You can see which ones are free. So for example, like Minimax, you've got GLM 4.7. GLM 4.7 is pretty good. If we just go with something basic, build a Space Invaders game, hit enter. So that will start to generate the project, right? So you can see here, it's thinking about what it can do and just beginning to go off and do it. The other thing that you can notice here is that you can actually attach files and it'll build out a to-do list as you build this out, right? Now it's going to ask you for some permissions because it's a local coder so i'm just going to click on allow there and then it's going to start writing and creating the index html as you can see here so it's beginning to code out the html file and then it'll create the css and everything else for the project and then as it goes along you'll actually click off the to do's so you can see this to do list here it's already created the html css and it's ticked them off right there you can also see the limits here so for example, if you actually click on the circle in the bottom, you'll see how many tokens, the usage in total and the cost, right? So for example, you can see this hasn't cost anything so far, right? And now it's finished creating the example, like, and we can actually open up the index HTML to start playing. The other cool thing you can do is if you go back to open code, once it's finished coding the project, if you just click on open index HTML. So if you type that in as a command, it will actually open that up for you in your browser, like you can see. And then you can see we've got Space Invaders ready to play. And it works perfectly, which is pretty crazy. So it's one of the easiest things as well. Also, what I would say here is like, it's way cleaner and easier than using something like anti-gravity or your normal sort of IDEs, right? It just seems a lot easier. And it is literally, you just go in the chat and type in what you want. So let's try and build out something else now. We'll open up a new project. So if we open up a project here, we'll go back and we'll click on a new folder. And let's say, for example, we want to build out a landing page. So open up, there we go. And then again, inside here, we can say, okay, create a beautiful landing page for my SEO agency. And then we'll go to my website, copy the about page. Or in fact, you know what? I can just take the information from our portal. So let's take that, copy this, go back to open code, plug that in hit enter, and now we can start going off and creating our project. And also if you click on this bit here, the circle where you can see your usage limits, it will actually give you a full breakdown of the context, right? So who's a provider, the context limit, messages, output tokens so far, etc. The other cool thing I like about GLM 4.7 it is a thinking model as well. Honestly, like it's, this is like, there was a lot of hype about DeepSeek last year. GLM 4.7 is a Chinese AI API, right? And I would honestly say that from what I've tested so far, GLM 4.7 is a lot better than DeepSeek. So I don't know when DeepSeek R2 is going to come out, but from what I've seen so far, I would genuinely say that GLM 4.7 was a step forward in a bigger direction than DeepSeek. Also break down the times so of how long it's been thinking for right here. And then you've got servers at the top, right? So you can actually add like servers if you want to too. Additionally, you can toggle the terminal. So if you want to open up the terminal over here, you could. 
and you can actually share the session. So if you click on the top right here, it has this really cool feature where you can open up the session, right? So if we go to a new tab here, we can actually open up and share the conversation that we've had inside of the code, which is amazing. So it's like super clean UI, but really easy to set up. And honestly, I think if you're non-technical, but you want to code stuff locally, this is probably one of the best options that you can have. Now, if you, for example, open up the project like this one, the Space Invaders game, as you can see right here, if you want to like just change something around, we can screenshot that like you can see. Then we're going to go back to open code, paste that screenshot in, and you can just change it however you want to, right? So for example, if I'm like, okay, more animations, more interesting, more crazy stuff, make it more bright and colorful and make it more dopamine inducing, right? Then you can just start editing the project and just giving it more feedback in terms of what you want next. Now, in the meantime, you can actually code out two projects at once. So for example, we've got the Space Invaders game over here, and then we actually have the landing page right here, right? And again, we can just say, okay, open index.html. It's giving us a breakdown of what it's created. Let's open that up. Boom. There we go. And now we have the full landing page that was created using the content that we pasted in. It's all coded it locally, super easy to do. And it's built out the landing page. Obviously there's some things I would change there in terms of the UI, but it's easy enough to just go back inside the chat and change yourself. You can also rename the conversation or you can switch between conversations at the top here. So for example, we can just click on this one and then we could open that up if we wanted to. And then you could go back to the other project as well. So for example, the Space Invaders game. And this is a to-do list app that we actually built with open go to. So let's switch back to the Space Invaders game. You can see that's just still coding out right there. And now we've got the revised version of this. As you can see, it's a lot more colorful, a lot more interesting, etc. compared to the original. So like you can see, this is the old version. This is the new version. And again, we just gave it a few prompts and it's good to go, right? But how much more interesting and better is that game versus the previous one, right? And all it requires is a bit more prompting, a bit more back and forth, and you get something more interesting. So that is how to use open code. You can see it's an amazing free tool. How easy was that to do everything? You can share projects, you can code locally, you can code multiple projects at the same time. I've shown you how to build apps, SaaS tools, how to build landing pages and also games using this, how to switch between APIs, how to switch between plan and build agents, and how to do this locally for free in just a few minutes. So it is an amazing tool, very underrated. I think a lot of people are not talking about it enough, and I would definitely recommend checking it out. If you want to get more tips on how to build stuff with this, we've actually got a full tutorial inside the AI Success Lab, which is a completely free community. It connects you with 44,000 different AI builders. We've got a full video tutorial there, plus a step-by-step -step operating procedure, as you can see, with prompts and a 30-day plan on how to implement this stuff, plus 100 prompts that you can test out yourself for building out all sorts of stuff. So that's inside the AI Success Lab. And then if you want to master and AI automation for your business, feel free to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is an awesome community where you can learn how to save time and scale with AI. You'll learn how to go from complete beginner to expert with AI and how to build your first AI agent in under five minutes. You'll get an accountability group so you can cut out the overwhelm and stay focused during the craziness of AI and all these updates and everything else. You'll also get weekly updates so you never fall behind. You'll get my best playbooks on how to implement this stuff inside your business based on what works for me. So you'll get, for example, how to automate avatar videos and how to create AI avatar videos for your business. On top of that, you will additionally learn how to get more clients for your agency, as you can see, how to rank number one with AI SEO, plus my full roadmap on how to implement YouTube inside your business to get more clients. Additionally, you can jump on four coaching calls a week. So you can jump on the live coaching calls with a PhD trained specialist in AI, and they can help you day to day with really implementing this personally to your business. You can also ask questions inside the community if you ever get stuck. And it's a very active community where we share, win, learn, and grow together, as you can see inside the community here. And you can get this all inside the AI profit boarding. So what questions we've got here? Stark DevOps says, crazy. I've been using the free GLAM 4.7. It's really good. I would agree. Remy says, open code is quite good, but lots of nice features. My only issue is highlighting and copying when running in Linux terminal. And Miguel says, can you on my website? Yeah, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session at juliangoldie.com. And then... Zora says, I have a project. How do I install this stuff? I just got here. Yeah, just go to OpenCode AI if you want to install it yourself. 